clear. There are actually some new, somewhat new overhead music I can use. I think it's kind of spooky. You're kind of spooky. I love you, Nikki. Let's just use this. This is my favorite. Boom, boom, boom. Left there, heroes and heroines. You guys finished defeating the cannibal wizard and headed back to your base with most of the land. Well, I would say the land is like 99% basically. It's basically back to normal. Uh, which is starting to cause the other two cities to become in strife um a representative from uh well colleagues of yours solaria and then also this rogue named frederick have uh been scouting ahead with the help of frederick and uh, a big group the city of metal was taken back but, uh, Frederick says that the city of Ire and the city of Glass are not as trivial. The capital will be harder to take back, but the city of Glass might be a little easier. Uh, he says he'll need a month and a couple weeks to prepare. Uh, prepare everything he needs for you guys to get into this place safely and not be watched for the most part to be able to let you guys do what you need to do how how exactly would be would we be getting into the city of glass uh he's going to smuggle you guys in mm. oh my special dude <laughs> I don't i'm like very good at hiding that i i could even disguise myself and sit outside with you <laughs> there are as, as much as I agree with that idea, is there not a better way to get into the city? Belia, yeah. there's that, nothing wrong with smuggling. I know there's not, I, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying if there's a b better, easier option. There are other ways. Uh, but... Their, uh... Newcomers are not as... Allowed. Oh, Nikki, the Earth. website's not working for me, by the way. You're using the wrong link. Oh. Use the one posted in chat. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. The security in all of these cities has jumped up skyfold. So, a little harder to get into the cities now. It's either by siege, which I don't think the citizens would like that, or by infiltration and you know, subterfuge. What I mean, does the nobility of these cities look like? Uh, city of Ayer has more nobles in it. City of Glass, their nobles were... Larry will speak up. We were <laughs> pushed out. Sega Glasses, uh, the fam, my family ran. So, uh, once that is over and done with, I don't want to be back in power. None of my family members are around. 
So, I'll leave that to you all. I mean, if there's a tree somewhere in the city, I could get us in. Well, there are more than likely are trees back again. If that is a way you can get in, that's incredible. I could just disguise myself and walk in through the front gate, probably. I'm really good at smuggling, so... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could just walk in. You could just find disguises and excuses to get yourselves inside. But you'd be on their watchful eye. I mean, we always are being watched, if you think about it. I think that probably smuggling works. I'm with it. I'm curious about something. This is a bit of a harebrained idea, but it is something to consider. Unfortunately, the Von Chadra name carries a bit of weight in some places. I'm not sure how it is here, but if I could arrange something with some of the nobility, specifically in Ire, that might be an easier way to get us in, rather than smuggling. If we have the name of a reputable nobleman or noble lady, that would give us legitimacy like to be in the city. I feel like that would just I, be the same as just either sneaking in or walking in, but I mean, smuggling's easy. It's not necessarily difficult. Uh, nobles do I have also am not some sure. weight, but you're talking about the Scalic Dominion. Not a lot. I, I can't speak for everyone, but there are people here that don't much care for the Scalic Dominion. Especially after what they did to the continent. Mm-hmm. Yes. Either side of that silly war are... Mm, not very trusted in some places. But I have been noticing a lot of... Samurai every once in a while. They have what? a library here. Mm. It, like, crashed isn't the right word, I guess, landed? Ran out of power? I don't understand how the Crystal Empire's technologies work. Have they tried turning it off and on again? Well, they said they ran out of what they used to power it until we found that weird cube in a basement. And then they paid a lot of money for it. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So, they're allies, then. I mean, they're not outwardly hostile to anyone. It, it, they just, if you try to steal from the library, it's not going to end well for people They're acquaintances. Ah, and they buy hands and brains. Well, they also gave us. Uh, they also gave us. Um, hold on. Where, where is it? Where the fuck did it go? There it is. Pulls giant jug out of bag of holding. They also get lent us this a while ago to deal with the curse. It's incredibly big. I... Honestly, I don't know why they gave us this much. Also, I was positive we used the last of it when um, we did the ritual to clear <laughs> the area around the camp, but... That's um jug half full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how the liquid got back in. Where's that, like, more full? I'm pretty sure because the tower exploded, it... Zumi is a, Zumi is a jug died. half full kind of axolotl. <laughs> 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 Why don't we just drink it? That is a bad um, idea. That seems like a... Uh, That's a very bad idea. Why could Based possibly go wrong? what I've seen and been told, that is a horrible idea. Oh, it's soul sake. Sorry, I can't read. It. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> I'll teach you to read, don't worry. 
I'll, I'll pat I'll pat Phil on the back. Come to think of it, I should pro come to think of it, I should probably return this at some point. You could sell it, it was for money. It loaned to us. Fair point. Um, no. Who loans alcohol? Well, either way, it's not alcohol. I have about a month and a half. Uh, mm. I have. <laughs> you can ask me for things during this time, and I can get things done. Secondary thing, we got some new. Uh, uh, I guess security. Um, the city of Metal, as it was reclaimed with the help of Charles and some of its citizens, uh, their um, court judge, Elias Richter, is uh, currently the representative of that city. Mayor, as you would. But only I temporarily. Roll. Can I roll a history check? Sure. See if I've heard of this person. <laughs> Victor knows who this is. Probably. Uh, that is a 13. Oh, hold on. Let me try a history check. You yeah. should know he played him. I, I, I don't know any of these people, so I'm, I'm not going to bother. Do you? You just said you couldn't read. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I lied. Uh, <laughs> As I have from the beginning! <laughs> oh, Phil, don't forget to level yourself up. Mm. Oh, yeah. God, I love playing D&D while sleep deprived. It's great. Oh, it's so great. It's okay. So good. Uh, do I take average, or do I... Uh... You've heard judges and... The word judges and jury and uh, strange words... Uh, flipped around as you've lived here for most of your life. Though... You're not fully sure what they do. You just... They just have title. They're just titles to you. Phil, on the other hand, when they mention, like, judge and things like that, oh, they must be... Uh, this must be government officials and stuff. More than likely, someone who was able to judge the guilty and give a it's probably where the why the prison was no longer in use for a while because there was no one to judge <laughs> that prison's no longer in, well technically no longer in use <laughs> they'll have to remake the prison that would be fun but so um there are few things you can do during the month that would be helpful. Gathering supplies from the city of Meto. Gathering... That, that is actually something I wanted to touch on. What are we in dire need of, Celaria? Um... Because we seem to be getting pretty established. Mm, quite. I just want to I just want to infuse the sword with Ethereum already. I talked to your friend Victor, or I talked to the smith on the, uh, at the shop. It's a yeah, fucking I mean, hack. Just, uh, it Victor's requires been holding the, uh, the bottle hack. for me. <laughs> it's a hack! It's a hack fraud! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um, main things we would need are, well, uh, more supplies for buildings. Well, we do have a lot of wood here, but more metal what about shipments, things like that. Uh, since I could probably the metal try to is a little bit harder to come by now. Mm -hmm. I could try. I have friends in no. the black market. I could, you know, have people I... come down here and deliver stuff. That is a better idea. That, I no, that don't is have any way to go down. That is a secondary thing. Phil, come here a moment. Okay. He grabs you by the throat. Don't you ever. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you ever. Don't you ever do it again. <laughs> don't, don't you ever mention the black market again. What, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, um. Ah. You came from quite far from here. Oh, we have a port now. And, uh, if you can give some, uh, way of contacting your contacts, we could set up traits. With boats, Say less. as well as airships, eventually. Airships? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that. Airship. 
I gotta do the funny right quick. I I don't think airships are a great idea. The, they have a pension for crashing. Damn, baby, you're pretty cute. We should go get dinner sometime. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking hold on. She's you know our employer. You know she's our employer, and also I think she's in a relationship already. I got a twenty-five. I got Literally, a okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I, this is not I, canon. This is a charisma check, you idiot. Yeah, okay, and charisma <laughs> check. And... You, Fuck. You on the <laughs> Phil, I you, hate Phil, that. Uh, Phil, you say the suave words. Solaria looks at you, blushing, <laughs> wondering what the fuck. Who? Phil. Phil. <laughs> and uh, later, shakes her head for a moment. Um, what? I got a 25. It's gotta work. Well, I'm just saying, you know, we live in the works. same it's camp. Not... You know, we may as well, you know, get dinner, get to know each Phil! other a little more. Phil! She has been Stop stunned. <laughs> Phil! I'm, I'm, I'm dragging him away. <laughs> I, I wish I had silence. <laughs> I, oh, wait! I do have silence! <laughs> well, no, it don't cast. It's a, it's a radius. Don't do it. <laughs> do it. Damn it. No, don't. <laughs> You'll do us all. I I'll take I'm, that as a yes. I'm I'm dragging Phil away. Phil, Phil, can't this wait like even ten minutes? <laughs> yes, it can. Doesn't, but doesn't, doesn't he have a girl? Then let us let us settle. No, our, no. Let, I let us checked for a one night stand with that weird venom chick. Let us. Oh, you are Let us settle our business, and I, then you can do whatever you. Oh, I was just trying to think it was a one night stand and fuck in the back of the wagon. Oh, yeah, Solaria. You implied that it would not go farther than like one time, Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. It was. A, I, I'm a, dragging a Phil by one of the horns. <laughs> it's so Phil's new thing is flirting with every single person that he sees because I. Ah, he's a womanizer. So ah. fucking high. <laughs> you're. you're uh, he's a womanizer. Your your attributes as a bard are coming through. Yes, yes. they very much are, and it's I, annoying. I, so I, I'm, I'm guessing. I dragged him away by one of the horns. <laughs> So I'll take that as a yes for that dinner date. Uh, yeah. uh, Phil, Phil, that, that not an appropriate time. <laughs> Surprised you just Why? haven't hit up the, the other fuck? tiefling on, at the table. Hmm? The bug of some of the... Other tiefling? That, yeah, yeah I... the short stack over there. Uh -oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's that, actually she very short. She doesn't look old enough. She looks like a child. <laughs> she's older old than you, character. I believe. Oh, uh, like in his hundreds? What? Oh. How are you older than me? Phil's well, an old fucking man. It, no, that's not how elf age works. Yeah, I know, but I mean, age-wise, he's really old. Wait, hang on. How did, how long do tieflings live? As long as they does. Wait, they mature at the same rate as humans, but live a few years longer. Uh, they're elves that's in this not setting. How they work in this oh, setting. they're elves in this. Okay, never they're mind. Infernal cursed. Sorry, I I got confused. Yeah, they can live like for the same as, as long as elves can. How 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 old did I make Bell? Yes, twenty seven. Okay, cool. Twenty <laughs> seven. Yeah. Yeah. Young. Tech, very young, but still. A lot of years. shit. A lot of shit went very wrong very quickly. That's all you need to know. Like getting abandoned by your household because yes. you're a reminder of fuckery. Yeah. Oh, let, exactly. let me actually find where I where I put his age. I have it written down somewhere. Please tell me you didn't make it like six nine four twenty or something like that. No, <laughs> that is something you would do. I don't think you actually put your age down. Um, God damn it! I, I, I somewhere. Lynn's God, a youngin. I, I wish, I wish I could just organize. Doesn't live that long. I yeah. wish I could just organize my fucking. Didn't I have multiple feats? I had spell sniper and some. Oh, metamatic uh, adept. That's the other one I had. Yeah. Should sorry, I. Already. Sorry, it's it's been like. A yeah, month no, and I think, a half. I think, I think I made Phil like 85. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. So how old is the teeth is the short stack at the table? Oh, 20. Well, we we'd have to ask her. 20? <laughs> She's younger than me? Yep. Holy shit, that is literally okay. a child. That is yeah, a child that's what I'm saying. Years. That's why I haven't hit on her, because it looks like a literal child. <laughs> you think so hey, <laughs> you wanna hear the funny part? They were actually adopted oh. by Elias. <laughs> It, That's Elias's no, they, child. They, That's Elias's they, child. We we agreed that that was <laughs> just a moment of confusion. Well, I, I guess don't think Phil's either gonna... of them understood what was going on. I guess Phil's gonna be a dad. It's gonna be a snap no, dad. No, no, dad. Don't, Phil. don't, don't, don't. <laughs>
but um don't you don't forget you. about me forget about me <laughs> so uh that dinner date though is that a, is that a uh, yes? oh uh, phil, phil 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 we are discussing <laughs> business Right now, I'm, and I'm discussing I, my business. I, I, I am yeah, putting Phil. a hand. I am putting one of my very uncomfortably moist hands over his mouth. Phil, so he cannot talk. Phil, if you, talking, <laughs> Phil, if you keep talking, I will take. Phil, if you keep talking, I will put my ever smoking bottle in your mouth. Ooh, hot! I no, you cannot speak. Is. There is a hand over your mouth. Mm. <laughs> I I will look to Solaria and just go. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna minor illusion a bag over did, Phil's head. Did you just try <laughs> to fucking lick me? That doesn't work. Yes, uh, Sumi, Sumi is already. Yeah, Sumi is already incredibly moist. Uh, Ugh. Uh, <laughs> well, that came that came I out said, wrong. I apologize. That um, came out horribly. The city of glasses, Mayor, is um, surprisingly not actually a shard mine. The, um, what were they, I think they call it the president of this continent. Either way, uh, those ones are in the city of Ire, and that one is a shard mine. I have a small point of contention. I joined onto this group late in the um, forming of it. What exactly is a shard mine? Um, so we found out that they're gith with like weird crystal and pulls out the cube. Frederick, Doc, no! uh, Frederick will instantly look at our little look at Shumi when you say gith. We've told him this before though. Yeah, I know. He's still okay. Actually, Beliath. Make me an insight check. You got it. Wait, can I? Well, no, I'm not going to detect thoughts. Um, so as I, 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 I was going to detect thoughts on Frederick, but eh, nah. Uh, if it, if things go badly, well, <laughs> that's twenty. Not that's so bad good. at all. Um, oops. Actor. I'm gonna use the invisible is, mage hand to tap Beliath while she's doing this. Is my deception. Hmm. I'll allow one thing. All right. Very slightly. Uh, you've noticed just barely catching Frederick staring at you with. Every once in a while, just staring at you. Okay. If I notice that, I'm gonna detect Matt. I'm going to detect thoughts on him. Oh. Can you cast that without components? Uh, I believe so, due to me me being me. Um, I think I can cast that without any components. Oh, wait, no, I can do it with uh, fucking metamagic. Oh yeah, you're a sorcerer. Um, yeah, I'm a sorcerer, so I can use my my meta magic to just go, yeah, do, do, abraca, abraca booby, um, and booby, and uh, basically, which one is it? Subtle spell. So yeah, I will spend I will spend a sorcery point, which I don't know why I only have one. Uh, I will spend a sorcery point. Wait, do I have the right amount? I'm not. I, I have uh, six plus two say, from kind of same from fucking friend. Uh, let me give me one moment to look at. I uh, it yet. Yeah, I haven't casted it yet. Give me two seconds. Sex thoughts is where the hell is it? Spell book. Yeah, no. I, ah, here we go. The, it is in here. Uh, oh wait, I can just cast it innately. Um, it is a wisdom saving throw. Which he might be very good at, but I'm going. I want to at least do this. Um, even if it fail, even if he succeeds. Oh, if he succeeds, the uh, he knows I'm probing. Unless I shift my attention to another creature's thoughts, uh, questions verbally directed at the target creature and actually shape the course of its thoughts. 
You can use a spell to detect the presence of things, creatures you can't see, yada yada. Um, you, oh, you can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. If, you, if the creature you choose has an intelligence of 3 or lower, uh, you, learn the sur- you initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, which is most on its mind in that moment. As an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature's thoughts or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. So I'm not I'm not probing. Well, oh, uh, you're okay. Not probing. Okay. I, I'm not probing. I'm not probing yet. I uh, if, if nothing of if nothing of interest pops up, then I will start probing. Uh, if you surf- probe, they know you did it. Yeah. I know. Surface thoughts. Mm, probing. Uh, what is a noble from the Scalic Dominion doing here? Why specifically them? I hope I'm not the noble anymore. I hope. I will say. I will use my tell. I will. I will use my telepathy. Because I wasn't because because goo, goo lock. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. Forehead. And uh, there's also the one thought. I hope they don't know of my family. I will use the fucking. Give me a moment. Uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's a thing that allows me to telepathically communicate. Awaken mind. Awaken mind. Thank you. Um, I will use awakened mind to look at him. And I will go, I am not a noble of the Scalic Dominion any, anymore. Nor was I really one in the first place, due to circumstances. I just have a prestigious name. Your family is secure. Uh, he will narrow his eyes at you. For a I, will give him a light, I will give him a light smile. He will click his tongue and turn his head away. I in his in, 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 in his head in, in, is he a fucking in, Karen? In his head, in his head, I will just go. Good talk. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. Can't read the room. That that adds up. All right. Let's see if I can. Granted, that that exchange would happen like oh, he hates, very quickly. Hates snowball. <laughs> Despite being a former one, <laughs> that is something we have in common. Though. Oh, you, by the uh, way, you said there was a way to remove attunement slots. Oh yeah. Uh, I think by this point, I've probably lost one. <laughs> all right. There you go. Now you have two. Okay. <sighs> now at the bottom left of your sheet in inventory is where your attunements are. On the right hand side, you can actually edit the number. Indeed. Yeah. Now it's at two. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, there are... You are allowed to leave... Well, uh, obviously, there are ships out that are allowed to leave the port and take you anywhere. Uh, Runia is, uh, is willing to take any of you anywhere for the month, but I will need you all back by the end. And I'm not really sure where we go. But that's a fair point. I'm just saying... There's I, great routes. I, I have connections out in several cities and towns. I had a thought, but I realized it was extremely hairbrand. My initial idea was to take a ship to the Scalic Dominion for the month, do some digging on my family and their actions. But I realize now that that would be an extremely dangerous move for me. If you want Most likely. me to send a scout or something, I can do that. If you feel your family is worth looking into. I'm I sure believe Charles they are. Would be willing, or, I'm pretty sure Von Lugarth wouldn't mind. I believe they are worth looking into. Just tell your scout to be careful. These are people who deal in dark magic. Mm. They are very secretive. They're the ones that uh, run the schools, right? Shouldn't be Correct. too bad. I'll 
sending in arcane tricks there. Oh, great. More mages. You know, you bo both you and Phil have mentioned being smugglers. Who the hell do you two work for? Oh. Uh, um. He will hold out his emblem. It is the same emblem that Druko wears. Phil, you will pull out your emblem, and it is the exact same one as well. Ah, the yes. same guild, probably different apartments. You... How does how does Flint react to this? Uh, Flint, you will see two badges ta uh, be put out. You've seen these badges before. They are badges worn by some of the guards in the uh, Grand Bazaar. Some of the ones that were trying to, you know, <laughs> arrest you. Is it Flint? Flint? Uh, uh, Flint? I think you have. Where did I the think... little rat I've been go? found! I think. I've been found! Um, <laughs> he, I think he just had a panic is... attack. It's the fuzz! It's he... the fuzz. Um... She's it! <laughs> um. He's just running <laughs> into the woods. Just I, 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 I will. I will turn. I will turn to Zalak. Zalak, go find Flint, would you? That might not be a smart idea. He well, he really does not like Zalak. Well, either he runs back to camp or he runs into the forest and comes back the next day. <laughs> mm. Flint is trying to get to the ocean. Um, <laughs> is he actually? Yes. <laughs> I I swim. He's just gonna climb a tree. All right. He'll he'll be calm. For, he'll be calm in a bit. Oh. I wonder if that one has crimes in the bazaar. Maybe that's why he ran. I, he he mentioned something about being on an airship and then it crashed oh. because of the blacksmith out. Side. Yeah. Not my territory, not my deal. No need. I'm not one of the police anyway. My specialty is, uh, well, sneaking and thieving. Hmm. I'm talking a little bit, but I don't know how that will go. Well, you have plenty of time. Uh, I will do my best to get more information on what we're up against. Fair enough. And, uh, there's many resources around now. Uh, you need... To travel to the city of metal is actually the safest city you know to travel to uh the roads are quite clear no more is it even the city of metal anymore um there <laughs> yes the hamaru the city of metal well, their names weren't exactly changed just people refer to them as their uh, mm. Old names. Seems for nothing. Q. Wait, you got sharpshooter? Yeah, I I realized that it's. Why you have a sword? Have That's a the thing. It works with range attacks of any kind. Oh, Rogan, why like... are you, why are you hell bent on making a fucking like? Agent from the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I I hadn't thought of that comparison before. <laughs> you are hell bent on this. <laughs> like the the alternative was the Fist of Gold Ice, which is even more nasty. Ah uh, yeah. Which lets me paralyze people. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, they can't fight back. After he runs into the woods for a little bit, he's gonna go over oh, find Aragar and talk to him and say, 
I think the hey, are here to find us. I'd like to poke belly ass left shoulder with my invisible mage. I wonder hand. how Arakai would react to this shit. Phil, Phil, you realize I can see magic, right? You can't see my invisible mage hand. I have detect. I have detect magic in my eyes. It's more like is actual. It's it's. I will not count his mage hand as that. It is technically tele. It is technically it's psionics, psionics, and it doesn't psionics. count as magic. Yeah. All it's, right. It's in, unless you have C invisibility. Yes. How does Cy wait? Hang on. How do psionics not count as magic? That's literally mind magic. They're a different type. They're a different. You're category. using magic. You're using a a magic that is derived from a source which is psionic. Your patron is psionic. They didn't bestow you psionics because they can't take away psionics if they give it to you. Yeah. Fair, fair they enough, give you I magic guess. so that they can take it away if you stop obeying them. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Psionics are a thing you can eventually learn, but some people are just cursed by it. Who's stupid? Uh, you'll see. You, you, will, you'll how see would after Eric this react, little react to Flint running up to him and saying the popo is here. <laughs> oh no! What you think? They're here for us. Well, even if they are, there's how many of them? There's two. There are exactly two of them. Just, I'm asking Flint, the guy in front of me. There, I, I yeah. think there's like. While two. while this is happening, Zalok, go go find Flint. Go get him. Two. How many? So is that Zalok is going to go is Maybe. going to go looking for? Flint is like I, I think there's two. I saw two badges. So I killed guys. at least thirty on my way out of that airship. We're fine. You'll see. Swoovy, okay. jump for a second. Flip. I gotta go get on the roof real fast. <laughs> if you do not let go of the base of my tail, you're going to find yourself in a very uncomfortable <laughs> position with a spear up your when, ass. When I'm not even touching you. It's like getting up on the roof. Is up on the roof right now. Hello, creature. I don't think you require a weapon. Are you mayhaps... Seeking boarding? Can you speak? <laughs> you speak common. Yeah, Zel Zel I told Zelok to go look for Flint, basically. I'm looking for a rat man. <laughs> You're looking for a rat man. Well, mayhaps you should look around for whatever master you have. Mm. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> No. He runs off to his owner. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why do you make him sad? Why do you not have any critical thinking skills? <laughs> but he he runs up to you, and he's like, "You know where he is, the rat man." I no, I sent I sent you to go find. <sighs> but someone told me Master may know. I I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think you do know. The Phil, not yet, not helping. So long, don't worry. She definitely knows. That is, no, I don't. I'm just... Maybe you know. I don't, but she does. <laughs> do I have him prepared? It... Why don't you I go ask Victor if he knows? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Do I have the funny spell, locate person? I, I Victor's just gonna like walk outside the door. I got an idea. Oh no! I dropped all my gold on the floor. It's all over the place. Let <laughs> me list of save. List, <laughs> yeah. You are oh a maniac. That is a condition yeah. you have. Yeah! Wisdom. I have done this! Wisdom. Wisdom save! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Flint just He's fucking off runs off the roof, not caring about him falling off the few feet that would be. Victor throws from. a gold yes, coin just yes. into the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nikki. Yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> he's many... No, we know he jumps. He, he, he like he oh, throws the top hat leaps. on. He throws the top hat on and just <laughs> starts running. <laughs> Come get the money. Oh, the tiny. <laughs> now you you see a short squatted elf. <laughs> Just starting to pick up all the coins. <laughs> the non-existent coins. The There's the one inside coin. the doorway. <laughs> and then once he's through the doorway, I shut it behind him. <laughs> nice. Lock it, lock it. Hi. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Who are you? Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> I, I am, uh... You will recognize I am, this uh, elf. You killed this elf, but for some reason they're <laughs> super short. <laughs> I am, uh... Oh, hold on. Bill. I'm gonna... Bargain. It's Vargas. Clint. I can feel Clint. his tail on the ground. Vargas? Oh, 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 I am Vargas. Clint. I can't Clint, walk outside. That didn't work when we were in the tower, and that doesn't work now that he's dead. I, I'm Fuck. Bar... No, no, no. I'm Vargas, leader hey. of the... Walt no. of the cube. No, you're not. Yes, I Why am. Can I walk outside? You can't, you can't prove it to me. I'm not. Shut. Oh no, the door is locked. Who locked the door? That's me. All right, uh, <laughs> I want to. I want to shape shift myself into the same person that Flint is. Oh my. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I want to shape shift myself into Swoopy. Right. I'm going to stab you. I have lived here my entire life. I don't know. Uh, that, this has only been a settlement for like a year. <laughs> You're not even a year. Your horns, I guess, could pretend. You do have the extremities to be able to do this. It's just your legs you are not going to look correct. <laughs> they have this is... they have strange digit. Di di I forget how the fuck to say it. Is it? Also, where is Shumi's right leg? It, behind her other leg. Oh, I can like it's barely see the edge pose. of it. Yeah, okay. I can see that. It's just like really hard to notice. I was looking at her just like, is she just missing a leg? <laughs> I mean, she could, oh. it could, she could totally cut off her leg and then have another one. In like days? <laughs> yeah, a couple of days. Take All right, this guy's a Shumi. I'm going to walk back in. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I think I'm the only one who oh. can't get confused by this. Um. <laughs> I, you're not the only one. I, I've seen much weirder stuff. So, you know what? Phil does I... look like Shroomy, but then you look at their legs and they're <laughs> completely different. One of them has hooves. <laughs> well, one of them uh. has normal knees. One of them oh, has, he has like, digitigrade. Yeah. He has digitigrade legs. <laughs> yeah. Those digitigrade legs? Yeah. Yeah. I could have sworn I prepared it. I do not have to spell magic. <laughs> Unfortunate. I will poke you with my sword. <laughs> what, okay, what do you mean? I, um, I'm... You don't have to spell magic. Guess who does? <laughs> I... Oh. If... Flint, you know do you, I, Flint, do you I want me to dispel the hat? Do you want me to dispel the hat? No. I'm not ta Flint, take I'm Vargas. I'm, take I'm, off the I'm hat. Vargas. Take I, off I'm, the hat. I'm, 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 I'm Vargas. I'm no. gonna ca I'm gonna cast Catapult, and I'm gonna Catapult a tankard at him. <laughs> My god. I'm... Swoopy has had enough. She's leaving the scene. Uh, Frederick will <laughs> And slamming the, the door behind her. She'll look, uh, Frederick will look at the strange short version of his former <laughs> friend, now enemy. You know how weird it is to see this man as short as you. What do you mean? I'm, I'm no one important. It's like you're, uh, it's like you're a gnome version of my <laughs> former teammates. I have no idea who Maybe you're talking you about. I, I, I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk up uh, behind Flint and just pick him up like a child. I hope you know my jurisdiction ah! doesn't reach out this far, and I, I don't even have the jurisdiction to even arrest you. I, if you are I, in the middle of the bazaar. I, I'm gonna pick him up under his arms. Nor would That's I care bizarre. about turning you in. Do you do you do you know that one meme where it's like? <laughs> 
We call him Demon. Please put me down. I'm very tired. That, that's what I'm doing. I'm just I'm, I'm holding him like a child. No. And I'm taking I'm taking off the top hat. No. Aha! Your machinations have been revealed. No. Swoomy has left the scene. What do you mean, Swoomy's right here? So now your, machina have, your, your machinations has been revealed. Come on, come on. Uh, this man will. Leave. Oh, I I will carry I will carry him out of the building. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. <laughs> Clint, it's your bedtime. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna unshape shift thingy myself. Let me kill the dog. Oh. What? It will go oh my god! This guy like also <laughs> has a top hat of disguise self. No, you won't. <sighs> Clint, you can't you can't kill the dog. That's not me saying you you're not allowed to. You literally can't. Mm. Zelok is immortal. He can die for a little bit. <laughs> Zelok is on dying. I just I'm immortal. found something in Frederick's inventory. If if he die if he dies for a little bit, that's not death then. That's just not being here for a day. Imagine if someone you die and then Someone cast Revivify. Is that- are you- did you die? Yes. You're not casting Revivify! He- his soul goes to another plane! So yeah. is yours. Yeah, exactly. Presumably. I, that, no, don't back it! Why are you backing him up on this? The I'm cube, not backing anybody up. The cube sends you to another plane. The cube you? sends you to a oh. weird pocket dimension, probably. No, the cube sends you to another plane. It is my god. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you on infidel. Uh, what do you mean? There uh, is. Uh, um, have any of you ever met a, a crazy scientist who goes by Doctor or Professor Zariah? Nobody fucking tell him shit. <laughs> oh, that dude. Um, no, I don't think point, point this out, but Victor has never been told to not. Same. Yeah. About this. I also, oh, I yeah. have never met, I have never met him. Oh, Belly let me, let me, has no information to give. And really. Owen, actually, let, let, me, let me, let me, let me, sla care. let me shapeshift into oh, Zariah. No! <laughs> Holy shit, he has a bag of spice! <laughs> Who has a bag of, what no. the fuck? This guy has <laughs> doses of poison, bags of spice, and I, assu I assume just... Spice I'm assuming rings. those are cooking. I, I'm assuming those are cooking spices. Uh, I hope the two of them don't get mixed, messed up. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll give those spices to you, Phil. Uh, so yes, he you, you place, said something about Zariah? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, he will place five syringes on the ground or on the table. These three. Wait, don't touch them. And he will point to the uh, thick red ones. Those ones are um, emergency healing ones. Uh, they are equivalent to um, what's the one after greater? Superior. Uh, uh, superior. Superior. Oh. Oh. I was gonna say grander. <laughs> superior healing syringes. Oh my That's god. That's a lot of healing, Nikki. That's a lot of healing. Oh yeah. Which There's which means uh, which makes me more. dread what she's going to throw at us next. Uh, there is an opium dream injector and an adrenaline Yay! injector. Yay! I, I'm uh, still, I, I'm still, I, I am still holding Flint like baby. So, <laughs> like, oh, baby. I'm going like hamburger. And grab the adrenaline <laughs> syringe. Oh, gently like burger. Okay. So, oh, burger, like cheeseburger. <laughs> Three times a, uh, emergency healing. One times opium, one times oh. adrenaline. Adrenaline was this the haste one that yes. I remember oh, using. Oh god, I can do this. Oh, that would be so funny. But yeah, I I I am still holding Flynn just to make sure he doesn't go for the opium syringe. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I have a great idea if I wanna if I really wanna get out. The last thing we need the last thing we need for Flint is to him to have an opium addiction. That is 
He already I, has a drug um, addiction. Uh, I've been giving him nonstop drugs this entire time that we've been having these why? sessions. Why? No. <laughs> I gave him that drug that makes him hallucinate and like shadowy oh, yeah. figures, and that then he funny. combined it. That's like giving a kindergartner like, LSD. What was it? <laughs> I, I gave him some of that like star cocaine, whatever it is. What no, the I fuck? didn't get any star cocaine. No, star I, I did. <laughs> no, I did the the sleeping powder I stole. <laughs> Oh my God. Why did you snort melatonin? The adrenaline. <laughs> oh God! It was all. He keeps what giving I out. Missed? He keeps giving out drugs from the artificial drug table, which has just the most fucked up shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will. Agree. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and make some drugs. <laughs> no. I thought so, you turned Phil, over a news. Phil. Phil. Okay. Two things. One. Where is? Stop Phil? looking. Stop. Stop looking oh, like Swoomy. Wait, Phil is here this high. whole time. I forgot. All right, all right, Phil. That's two out of three. Phil, two things. One, dispel your disguise uh, about I already did. Um, Solario. Start okay. pushing Thank you, you out and start like asking you to pack your shit up. Uh, yeah, no, and no, two. No, no. But yeah, no, don't do that here. Oh. Don't do that here. What? Don't do that in a tent it, or your uh, own do, little house. Do that in yes. What? What's? Uh, uh, they're not necessarily. You are making stuff. drugs. What's wrong with drugs? <laughs> Several things. In fact, several things. <laughs> drugs are great. They sell Nobody's for a lot ever of money. Oh, okay, okay. Then, all right, we're going outside. Come on. Don't, don't feel, don't yeah, hold on. That's that's a good point. That's a good point, actually. How come how come no one? No, no, no. Phil, shut up. How how come how come no one has ever complained about Shwumi doing drugs and stuff like that? But but they no, complain no, no, about no, no. Phil doing She's it. She's always done it outside, though. You're doing this inside her house. <laughs> You're just technically drugs in her house. She's trying to shame with... you out because you're like, what the Phil, fuck are you doing? Phil, uh, come hey, on, be back Phil, with drugs. No, <laughs> oh, technically, Nikki, this Wait. isn't her house. This is the, you know, th this is the equivalent of the courthouse or, you know. Oh, yeah. Also, Phil, there's a difference Phil, between could, rolling a joint Phil, and cooking Phil, meth. Could you, Phil, could you have put, could you have done that at a worst possible time? All right, Nikki, what did I make with a 9 Oh Oh my god! Doing it outside of her house doesn't mean doing it outside of her door! Go to a place that's quiet, you moron! I'm gonna sit right here and make drugs. It, what did I make? Oh I, my god, I... You know I'm not a child, right? Yes, you you are basically a child. What did I make? Come, yeah, come on. Oh. Okay, Flint, how old are you? Actually, 19. You're a child, come on. No, I, I'm, I will no, continue carrying no. Flint. I will continue carrying Flint. Uh, <laughs> it's not you, my you fault got, I didn't have a are, parental are, model. Are you going where Swooby went? Actually, this is yes. the big vote. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, wait, uh, wait. I, don't, I don't know if I want to let Flint on the boat. Wait, you called him a child? <laughs> yeah. He's, yes. he's an adult, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> He's no, a child. He's yes, he is. <laughs> he's an adult. He's a teenager. Oh, no, no, no. Flynn, Flynn's gonna be like, it's not my fault I didn't have a parental figure. <laughs> I, but I'm an adult now. <laughs> what drugs did I make? Uh, let me grab these. Playing the pirates. I, I will turn. I will turn back to Phil. Phil, for the love of ever. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, Are you just dragging? Like Drag the child to the boat. <laughs> I'm going to try and actually get out now. What did I roll? Good luck, uh, 68. 68. And, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to escape and wriggle out of... out of this now. You, at the first batch you make are these strange little top hat shaped horribly look oh, top hats they don't look correct they look <laughs> melted and kind of they're supposed to be like uh something you put on your like top. pills oh Abs. and uh it melts on your tongue is it like and lsd but a top hat things like <laughs> sounds okay cool. synesthesia uh, giving those basically, to you start hallucinating, and you start seeing, like, comic book-like stuff. <laughs> LSD. <laughs> uh, you will see, like, 
when birds are chirping, it'll say, it'll like random sound effects will go chirp, chirp. <laughs> Definitely giving this to Flint. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the 24. Yep. I rolled a two. That good Kasiri Hashish. Oh, you're oh. using the natural drugs table. Oh, that's the natural drugs he uses table. Both. The the uh super the, the the artificial drugs table is a D one hundred, not a D twelve. Oh right. Oh, it's not on here, right? And that is a table I use in like my um my VTM game, so I can't really give you the whole thing. Fair enough. Forty four. I have another one. Uh, oh great. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you make something equivalent to shroom tea. Fuck yes! And then the last one. Oh, you make another one? You made another one? Yeah, I made three. Do you have fucking time for this? No. I'm, I'm just sitting outside. I'm just guessing he's just spending hours doing. 31. Man, further I get closer Wait, down the line. Can you. Can you please don't, Flint? I mean, not Flint, Phil. See, okay, I'm okay, not... fine. Don't don't worry about the last drug, then. Don't worry about the last one. Please. No. It's happening. <laughs> Nikki! All right. You don't need to spend you... half an hour no, on no, drugs! No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to Phil. He's currently busy doing dr or dealing drugs and making drugs, so he's going to do that for a while. And yeah. he's the gonna last get one ousted made, from I... the community. The last one are called Forget Me Not. Oh? <laughs> what does it make you forget? No, Forget Me Not. It makes you not forget. <laughs> I. <laughs> does it make, make people me forget a or not? medicine forget. check, Phil, for this one. All right. You've never... <laughs> you, you, this one was one that you were like. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to make something new. <laughs> All right. 19. You believe that if you were to consume this, you would have brand new memories of a completely different life you've lived for the whole what? life. What? And this would last 1d4 days. You would forget. Oh, um, you, it's basically a drug to take, so you would never be able to be found out. Like if you're, a, I know exactly what I need to do with this or one. Something you can assassinate someone, take this, and you don't even know you were the assassin. So I, no, all right, Ben, Swo say less. Swoomy was digging through her, um, you know, stash of sample of experiments, and uh, the. Oh no. This is the one I rolled. <laughs> the really funny one for her class. Oh my god. Wait, so is, is Swooing just getting high on a boat right now? <laughs> why is, it, why is the axolotl the captain hot? That because you're a furry. That. Well, yeah. Hey, Flint, you want to have a good time? I'm surprised. Listen, no, I, I'm not. I'm not a furry because something Fuck! has. Nah, never mind. Sorry. I'm not gonna argue this. What happened? Are you okay? You drop a cigarette on your lap. <laughs> no, I fell off my chair again. Are you okay? How do you yeah. fall off? Never mind. <laughs> I was leaving. Wait, I'm yeah, leaving I just realized chair. again. I have fallen out of my chair before. I can't say anything. I have Mick fucking fallen. <laughs> Oh, come on, uh, sec. I nearly dropped my croissant. <laughs> Fun stuff. So we can actually oh. do. Uh, so your guys is like downtime and stuff. We'll do it at, like we'll do it as like a big, a big one. Yeah. Before uh, before ones. we before we go into that, I am curious. I'm gonna set Flint down for one, um, okay. and let him scamper off to go be a fiend, and I will go over to Gumbo because I haven't talked to him. Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna give oh, Flint boy. that. I'm gonna give Flint that drug. 
No! You're, you're he, talking, he doesn't know what it is. You're, you're talking to Gumbo. Yes, I want to hear your voice for Gumbo. Oh, I'm just... Am I free? Hello, oh, there Gumbo I go. doesn't talk much, so you you kind of just had a staring contest right <laughs> now. Hello there, I don't believe we've met. The large Galgiri stares at you intently. <laughs> um, I am Beliath von Chatra. Stares. <laughs> Eyes narrow slightly. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He will point to his side to it on his left. <laughs> it will have food you can buy. <laughs> or order. Or it, it also says custom order food as well. Let come here. What what is what is on the menu, Gumbo? What what is on the menu? A lot of Is it just various soup. flavors of soup? Like soup. 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 Is there actual gumbo? There's seafood. Well, well, you see, that's the funny thing. There's a there's an item at the bottom of the list that just says chef's special, but it's spelled very poorly in common. Chef's special? Okay, I'm disturbed by that. I really hope it's not just tail. You will actually okay. notice a lot of the words on the board are kind of broken common anyways and very it looks like written. they were written with someone who had really big hands and small device to write with actually i i will have the uh chef's special he will duck behind the I'm assuming this is like a stall with a tent yeah. behind the onyx. He will duck into the tent and bring you back a oh, no. bowl with a very dark looking stew. Okay. That has rice in it. That's okay. jambalaya. That, no, gumbo is served on top of rice. Okay. Is there anything off about the... <laughs> Just you already special. got it from him, you may uh, as well Nikki, eat it now, don't be just Nikki, special. I need access to his sheet, I need to use his cooking utensils real quick. Uh, I'm Let, gonna let's fix see how good the batch is. Or you could roll his uh, cooking utensils. That's what I was gonna do. Oh how how well did this batch turn out? I wanted to hear Gumbo's voice, I haven't, I haven't heard it. <laughs> He doesn't talk much unless you make him angry or waste his time. Oh, I'm doing also, both. I also forgot. Uh, you have proficiency or expertise. He has expertise in cooking tools because his background is chef. Uh, <laughs> chef. 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 Master chef. Mm -hmm. Master chef. Uh, Master chef. He, he can't. He, you, he can you, teach people because he has expertise. Use. Uh, he would have used whatever he, whatever, mm, I guess, fresh. Do you want, do you want to use dexterity? Or this is literally the embodiment of Soviet cooking, say like strength, knowledge. But you're not doing anything that requires like strength based Nikki, cooking. Nikki, cooking it, cooking it, already it, relies it, on a specific <laughs> skill. The in the back, he's pins just pins. like brutally chopping up a Komodo dragon or something. <laughs> what are they cooking the Co deck? Cooked utensils are wisdom modifier. No, they're wisdom. Wisdom. That makes yes. a lot of sense. Yep. You don't. You don't cook with your ability to fucking like filet mignon. They're a wisdom modifier. What? Uh, it's not that. He has a filet mignon's a steak. Shut up. Uh, this case. All right. Hmm. It's not the greatest thing you've tasted, but it's better than rations. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It. He he's gauging your reaction. I. Be Belle is clearly you know she likes it. She enjoys it. She likes it. You know it's, she likes it. <laughs> 
And she'll not like not a thank you to it, Gumbo. You know, and yes, to answer your question, the chef special is Gumbo, but it's not called Gumbo because that's his name. It is a it is a dish that he created. He or you ordered me. <laughs> no one orders Gumbo. But you find out what a secret sauce I is. I love McConnell names. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> They're always five letters, and they're always so simple. My name is so simple. simple. It's Phil Philanthropy the Philosopher. There Get... are other options. When we got back, you did see him in his big form drag a swordfish out of the water and fucking brain it on the... No, that was in front of me. <laughs> that was in front of me. <laughs> Wait, he just, he just fished out of swordfish with his he, bare hands? He... He wrestled a swordfish and dragged it onto land. I love Gumbo. <laughs> he he's not very smart. But he's a very good cook. Alright. Well, uh thank you, Mr. Um He has a name tag on his Gum name. Gumbo. <laughs> Is it misspelled? The G is backwards. <laughs> right, thank well, you, um, Mr. Jumbo. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you, you. Have you paid him his money? I uh, yes. How much? How much is it? That'll be three coffers. Three coffers. Okay. Uh, yes. Convert a gold. Uh, into... to... So. What you have to do is convert a gold into silver. So you now have 10 silver, then a silver into copper. Now you have 10 copper. And what is three copper? Now you have seven copper. <laughs> nine, and silver. Uh, se seven copper, nine silver. All right, yeah, three copper. There you go. All right. And you change. <laughs> <laughs> my That reminds me of one of my favorite things where, like, I I paid the a drink in a tavern was a silver. I paid with a gold, and the bartender just reached under the counter and brought up this huge sack of, of like silver pieces <laughs> or copper or copper pieces. Yeah. Uh, so it was just like, <laughs> yeah. Right, anyway, um, thank you, Mister Jump uh, Jump Gumbo. Uh, have a good day. Blinks. Audibly. Does he? Does he blink with one eye each? No, he's not that stupid. <laughs> okay. Actually, this is something. Uh, oh, the they're door's both from the city of Ire. Would he have recognized Victor? I think we had this discussion already. No, it's... we. Yes, we so this okay. Is a possibility. No, no, uh, another it, it another a, quick question. Well, that would depend. We, would... we said it is a possibility, but also Victor's uh, memory wouldn't is kind remember of him. shoddy at the Wonky moment. Wonky as fuck. Victor wouldn't remember him, but Dumbo if... would remember Victor. Yes, Victor. Yeah, oh, especially considering Victor is a folk hero. Lots of people know who he is. Yeah. The other question is, would you have gone to a restaurant that served uh, mostly sea-based food? I mean... Or does that not fit Victor's vibe? Victor is a monk, so I imagine he probably would need to eat meat in order to, like, support that kind of training regimen. Yeah. Uh, well, the there restaurant are... he ran before mostly served, like, crustacean fish uh, stuff like that uh, because of the owner fish Man. is the most fish and like other like sea based food is very common in the ice fields uh there is new fish that suddenly popped up gumbo would have been able to bump into and see a few metal cursed uh animals in the water that still haven't been uh purified it just it would have been like sharks uh, with their scales being spikes. Oh, just... Sharks <laughs> don't have scales, they have skin. 
But yes, Victor, as far as as far as his backstory specified, he did something in the city of Ire that made him quite famed, even across the ice fields, as someone who did something helpful for the common people. But nobody knows exactly what, because he's not been to the city of Ire since he lost his memories. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, anyways, back to something else. Um, yeah, I rolled false providence, which means I hear a communication from my god oh, right. telling me to do something that my god would the not The fun tell part about this one do. is if you, you could just get a communication from your god. Maybe. Well, it's a it's a hallucination. It it's not actually a communication from my god. Unless the god wants to communicate to you through hallucinations. You worship like the god of drugs, maybe. I don't think anyone's ever met ever met a drug god. It I'm gonna become a drug god. God of drugs, stop. There's a god of drugs in lots of pantheons. Dionysus. You reach enlightenment by overdosing under... off of opiates. I know, I'm just saying that that's, like, there's a god of drugs in a lot of things. Uh, you would actually I mean, meet there's... Calcari. Who? Calcarius. I don't know who that is. He's, a uh, he's the... He's the god of dreams and emotions. He's he's the most chill of my farseers, and he sounds like a stoner. So he sounds like your, is... he sounds like your stereotypical hippie when you speak to him. So she has been like trying this for a while. Okay. What what happens? Who who speaks? Ah. Uh. All right, Shumi. Yeah. You decided to take drugs. One that makes you. Yep. Did you. Did you roll your saving throw? There's a saving throw for that one, right? Uh, no. Oh, There's no. not one listed unless it falls under a blanket constitution save. Alright. You follow Ohudala. And no other person. Hey. Uh, technically Pronima, because they're both Yeah, but siblings. generally Ohudala is the one you worship. And... That, yes, that's the shrine I belong to. Mm-hmm. So, as you're sitting on your ship talking to Runia and Soggle and hanging out with your siblings, chick chilling out on the boat, right, it suddenly hits you. Uh, you blink for a moment, and suddenly you're no longer on a ship. Oh no. You're suddenly in the shrine? You're just suddenly standing underneath the crystal tree within the shrine with Uhudala standing next to you. What? She leans down and says Such an irreverent response. Says what? Okay. <laughs> I have a task for you. Shoo me, oh. my child. Oh, okay. You must leave this place. And go seek a dancer to bust these moves, and she just starts break dancing. Can I? 
You know what? It does specify in that I can make a wisdom or religion check to notice inconsistencies of anything, so... To you, right now, you're feeling it's normal. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At first, you're like, this is a little suspicious. And you're like... Wow, I am incredibly high! <laughs> oh, oh god, this shit's hitting you pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> Uh, ah. You start seeing the trees start also, like, almost spinning. <laughs> cut cut to outside of this, like, drugged-up hallucination, and Sumi is just, like, foaming at the mouth on the deck! <laughs> Literally, she's break dancing. Speaking no, of which... Just, just drooling. Speaking of which, constitution saving throw, my friend. Okay. She's just high off her ass in front of her siblings! Wow! Nice. Oh. That was a cool little special effect. Oh yeah, check the settings under special effect and dice so nice. Wait, where is it? Module settings, dice so nice. It'll there's a tab called special effects. Dice so nice. It didn't play the noise. Uh yeah, the noise doesn't I couldn't get the noise I actually wanted to work, so I went with an effect instead. Mm. Yeah, but I also have with a nat twenty, nat my my dear, uh, Shumi <clears throat> blinks again, and she's on the floor, and there's just there's a lot more liquid around you than you remember. Your character oozed during this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, like sweat. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> he just okay. started freaking out and dancing, and then fell face first into I... the floor and started extremely extreme. Ex. Ex. Yeah. Words. Word. Huh. She's going to take the, um, packet that that particular sample came out of, and she's going to throw it in the water. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to dispose of that one. Oh, no. Imagine littering. Oh, no. Is a fish gonna eat it? <laughs> Nikki, what have you done? <laughs> oh no. You see a strange aquatic creature suddenly swim up to the surface and just oomph, and eat it and then swim back down. Make what does it nature look check. like? <laughs> so, slightly <laughs> later, slightly later, it, it just faces up, belly up. <laughs> All right. Do you believe that was some kind of shallow water shark? Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, congratulations, uh, you turned a shark uh, sentient. Generally one that usually just eats whatever. No, that shark's gonna, about no, to have a good Nobody time. swim in the water for a bit. <laughs> 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 I, I think a shark just ate it. <laughs> that shark is going on a ride of its lifetime. It has no idea. Fucking what sentient the sharks, goddammit. Though I, I don't I'm think honestly curious. We consumed like as a leaf doesn't really affect you that much. It does nothing pretty much. Yeah. Also, I imagine a shark wouldn't be able to absorb it. Not really. And also, like, I, I guess it also depends on how much you're know. eating. That was a sample. It, it, it was like that would be was, enough the, for that type of. E each creature. of the packets I should have specified were like an ounce of each sample. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't know if, that, you, if you ate an like ounce. I don't. I don't ounce. think it would do much by a normal person. But oh. I mean, it also really depends. Have you ever? Okay, sweetie. Do yes, you know what I it... have seen an ounce. Okay. I know what it looks like. I'm just double checking because that's that is a lot. That's a lot of weed. It is. <laughs> Yes. Okay, with an ounce, if that's the case, yeah, no, that that would start to do something to that creature. 
That's a lot. Holy crap. All right. What cool. sea base did is contacting that shark in one it, adventure. It reminds me of uh, it reminds me of the video I saw story. a long time ago when I was no, still in high school of a guy is, just eating weed. That Shut the fuck is, up. That shark is thinking about one of those Cruxian or uh, <laughs> Cruxians. The Leviathans. Nah. Ch yeah, daydreaming about a Leviathan. Having fun. I'm a great old thing. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of that one. I don't want whatever the fuck that experience was again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Should try some of the stuff I found in the Argus Isles. Uh, tribals there make some strange stuff from the fauna there. I mean, I've been crossbreeding different plants to see what happens. She will pull out her notes of the ones we've found so far. Uh, I've got one that gives people the uncontrollable urge to want to go home. Whatever that means. You know, uh, what other we ones? Learned, you know, our home isn't that far from here, right? She literally points to the other side of the lake. Right over there. What? It's hard to... We were born on the opposite side of this lake. Okay. Do you not remember our... No matter. I remember being dragged onto a ship. Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> I also remember being crammed in holding cells in a laboratory for... <laughs> five years. I remember, I remember breaking out with my bare head. Oh, my that, bare that, that reminds me why I came over here. Soggle, hold still. <laughs> uh, he, he didn't say she... hands, he said head. <laughs> my bare head. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, to, to distract Soggle so that he doesn't move. I'm going to instruct him to gently hold pigeon like Borger. Okay, uh, he will drop his great axe that he's been holding this whole time, and it'll just stick into the it will just stick into the wood. Runia is gonna just I could face fix that. plant, <laughs> face <laughs> palm, face palm, and just sigh. And Grebe will hold the pigeon and start putting it in his mouth. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. Just hold him. Pop. Gentle. Pop him in my hold. You, you can't. And while while he is lightly distracted, I'm casting greater restoration. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you will see the mark on their chest start to dissipate and clear up. Ow. Does this help uh, his intelligence? You will see his eyes start to, like, normalize. And he'll just stare at you, blinking a little bit. Be right. My oh. head hurts. You... Pats gently. You you ought to take better care of yourself, brother. I will we'll troll. Oh you thought that that uh Gal Gary will swimming contest. I'm going to beat them. Snuggle, so, so, don't don't go in the water. There's a shark I will under shark very <laughs> Did, did did he leave the axe behind? He did. 
gonna, yeah. gonna make a strength check to try and pull it out. Unworthy. Oh, they're not a Galgiri weapon. Uh, that's fine. It's not an oversized. They're just a normal I, size. I, I am not a very strong person, Nikki. I have average strength. Uh, but yeah, you do clump. manage to flick it out. It was a little bit dug in the wood. Set good it inch, inch and a half. Railing. And I'm going to cast Mending to fix where it split the boards. Uh, thanks for um fixing my boat. Do you like the boat that's on the other... I, I, you will, she will point to the other side of the board, boat. And there is a steamboat, kind of. It's a, a mix of uh, wood and metal, as well as like uh, uh, water wheels on steam engines. And it's basically, it looks like it can be piloted a lot easier than a ship like this. You know, I know the merchant that said he wanted to travel. We'd have to. I'd have to ask my crew members if I can take that boat off their hands. Uh, if that's the case, I'm okay. guessing that little that little Okoto that's been riding around. Uh, so you have met Plum. Met? No. I've just been told about a strange merchant that's an Okoto. I mean, I can. It's almost like they think I'm we know each other. I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, that that's right. That that. But you see, my um group kind of helped him get started. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm gonna save the sending scroll. I guess I'll just cast the spell. I I am um, going to I I am going to summon Plump. Oh, you're just gonna sending Plump. Uh, Karunia will actually walk up to you and be like, um, one of my, one of my crew members has a book written in Abyssal. They hand it to me to start translating, but uh, I'm getting nowhere. It's confusing. I'm not exactly it, getting the proper translation. I don't have comprehend language. Abyssal, you say? I... Do you have any friends uh, that understand the this demonic language? Uh... Wait, do I speak Abyssal? You're a tiefling, you speak Infernal. Uh, yes, I think... But... You might speak both. Yeah, check Zellock, you speak Abyssal. Know, it's Zellock that speaks I know Abyssal. At least two of you Zellock speaks, speaks deep speech. speech. Oh. Abyssal? Uh, who, who, for, some, for some reason, it's in my thing as deep speech, which is not I what I speak Abyssal. No. I don't know world language. Aberrations <laughs> speak deep speech. What what language are we oh, looking wait. for? One of you speaks Abyssal. Abyssal. Me. Abyssal. Yeah. I think that might be Phil. I mean... I don't I, speak Abyssal. Mm -hmm. I, I speak could... Infernal and Thieves Camp. Yeah. I'm... Hey, hang on, don't I? I, have... I don't... I don't know of any of my traveling band that speaks it, but I could summon one of the spirits I have a pact with, a contract with. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, I'd rather not deal with your pets. They're not pets, they're Spirits. I'm missing you an mean, invocation. Like, uh, they don't sleep. They don't eat. They don't kinda like really it. do anything. Are they like us, but dead? In a way. They were once. They were once people, and then when they died, they chose not to pass on. So. They became guides in the dream. Oh. We are taught how to contact them and briefly. make contracts. Uh, she's holding her, like, both hands, wings against the side, and is just 
like Borger, Pick, like Borger, and looking her, looking greebly dead in the eyes. And then she shrugs. Might have been a mice, too. <laughs> he, I don't know His what he was definitely for. Not, uh, any pigeon eye if I've ever seen. He hands it back. I, I don't know what he was before, hmm. but it, she will. She will, I guess, cover where she believes his ears are. He's, he's not very smart. Uh, his eyes are dragon-like. Perhaps a dragonkin of some kind. I... That would explain the weird visage of a kobold. Ah. Uh, interesting. Oh, uh, if my friends do come back and uh, they want to sell the boat, uh, let's see if I can sell it for a decent price. I heard that merchant is quite loaded. I mean, he offered me 30,000 gold for a set of weird robes. <laughs> It. That must have been a quite an expensive item. I don't know. It was a weird robe with a bunch of eyes on it. I didn't... It, it, it was disturbing, so I got rid of it the first chance I had. She will nod. Well... I, I am wonder rather what care other quotos are around here. I'm not sure how spread out our people are because of the Dominion. Um, but I, I heard rumors actually recently. There's a, a one they call the Stormbreaker. Was that it? I am the storm then. What check Nikki's would this actually be, Nikki? fucking forgetting. Is it Stormbreaker? No, Chainbreaker. Chainbreaker. Thank you. Chain something. Uh, your character hasn't really left this area in a long time, but you can make a history check. It, I am having a stroke. I could not find history. I Advantage. okay. So we're all that again. That is a 22. Very well. Um, names... Not the befuddle... Uh, name doesn't click in your mind right away. But when Runia starts describing this Aqual, who has been uh, breaking people out of... Uh, encampments, breaking them out of trades, um, just basically messing with the slavers that were once there. You remember an aquatal saving you and several others when you were being transported by er, those many years ago. Actually, that that is incorrect for her that... backstory. Yes, she was taken to the laboratory and kept there. She escaped on her own. Well, she was picked up in one of the cities. She doesn't know which one because she was caught pickpocketing. Fair point. But she would have heard of other people escaping through a random aquatals due diligence. And he was doing that for a long time. But her talking about it, it's uh, a lot more than... Uh, there's also been rumors that there's been trouble staring in the bazaar, trouble staring in the Dominion, just trouble staring all in <laughs> up in the northern continents, it seems. So, mm. well, it seems we're pretty safe down here, minus the strange occurrences already. Like the, uh, uh those cannibals I heard about, these shard mines? 
the shard mine are the main issue. The cannibals have been dealt with for the most part. Oh. I'm rather curious of your ship, though. And what are you curious about? I mean, I notice it's pretty low in the water, so that means you're hauling cargo. Mm -hmm. I sure am, but uh, I got quite a lot of things from the adventure we had. But they're not all mine. I ain't got most of it. I do have deals with my crew members if they get parts of the deal. Mind if I at least take a look then? Are you wanting to purchase? It depends on what you have that might interest me. Uh, she, she pulls out a sending stone, then thinks for a moment, which one of those did I give this to? Uh, the one she who fucking it. died. She uses it, and then you see her eyes go... Uh, you see her go pale, and she drops the stone. I don't want to ever oh. do that again. What? What happened? Um. Imagine. Like a million voices speaking <laughs> to you all at once. Mm. Mm. I did not like that. Uh, she will pick up the sending uh. stone. Um, she she will place it down in front of you. Destroy it. It's no use to me anymore. Uh, uh, all right, chief. How do I go about that? Break it however you want. She doesn't care. She's gonna go get uh car I... stuff. Can you reprogram a ascending stone? Yes. Technically, but she doesn't have another I... sending stone to reprogram it to. So yes, but useless. we were given we were given one to contact Plum. Oh yeah. I I'd like to make another one to contact Plum. Oh, just like make them okay. Triangulated shins. All right, that's fine. That can be done. Rooney will come out with a massive cargo. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, uh, all right. Runia has um several boxes of wine. She has a strange sapling that looks very familiar to a sap uh, to a tree you have in the shrine. Uh, she has rotting grapes in barrels. Uh. Several chests full of strange, ornate objects. And... A scepter. Mm. And then, like, boxes and boxes of, like, other fucking random stuff. That probably just keeps the ship running and the crew healthy and happy. I mean, uh, I guess I'll call for the others if they want to go through the cargo, but I'm mainly interested in the grapes and the sapling. Uh, um... You're calling over Flint. <laughs> to uh, buy. I'm going to say... I, the grapes I'm mainly interested. I'm not interested in the food itself because it's rotting. What condition are the seeds in? The seeds should be fine. It's just the fruit itself is rotting. It's basically how many fermenting, seeds? I should say. How how many seeds? This was a vineyard. They got it from. <laughs> That's a lot of seeds. Uh, thirty nine percent of them have seeds. Okay. She uh, doesn't care what you, doesn't understand why you're just plucking out the seeds. She's like, well, I don't need those for what I'm making with my fermentation. 
Oh, so, sorry. Just the shrine doesn't have this particular. Um, would it be genus or breed for plants? Gene. Species. Species. Yeah. We we don't have this particular species of um, grape. No, they're stealing grapes. For, uh, they still uh, this group still grapes from an island to the that's far away. Might be. That uh, sorry. <laughs> Where do you think Erica got his ball bearings? Uh, Anyways, Runia will uh, point to the tree and be like, "I don't know how much I can sell this to you for." I don't think well, they gave me a price. That is a rare artifact. Wait, that... who found the tree? At Altaria. Oh. Thank Technically, you. the one that died found it, but it's Altaria is now by default because she's the last of the original party still oh. on the ship. Wait, is that actually true? Yes. Oh, no, Mickey, no, no. I'm Arcus, paying attention to Arcus, Azarian, and him are. And Kalei. Well, Kalei's no, been there the Azar... whole time. No. Nikki, when you started the Caribbean campaign, the only la the only person still from that campaign start is Alteria. So, yeah, you were right from that part. Yes. Yes. But uh... everyone else in his, in their party joined later, so it technically belongs to them or Runia by default. Yeah, Runia is just gonna take claim of it. Well, the original person who uh, took it is uh, was supposed to be on the other mm. end of that sending stone. Mm. I'm guessing. Mm. I was told they died, and I did not hear good noises on the other end of my sending stone. Uh, you wouldn't have you wouldn't happen to have anyone on your crew that follows a goddess, would you? Or I guess any of the pillars. Depending on who they follow, I have something they might find interesting. Oh. She'll... No, not usability. She'll hold out the golden staff that we found in the tower. If they follow one of the, I guess, dragon gods, they uh, might want to let them know that Amarius had a item built specifically to bend the minds of dragons. Oh. Or, I guess, break their will. Oh. Well, that's... Try it on Greebly. See if it works. That is, uh... it, it specifies dragon, not dragon kin. Uh, Runia will smile. That is dangerous. Who knows what a god of fate would want with dragons? It... But my only guess is the other two, not, uh, the other it... two pillars. The uh, what are their names? Oh, right, right, Let right, me uh, make a religion Cel check. Was it Celeste? And I don't I, remember the other one. I can just make a religion check. For Celia. I'm sure I've heard of the other gods. <laughs> the other one she's trying per to think of is Priscilla. Priscilla and Celeste. Oh. Ah, Priscilla. That's what I forgot about. I'm... They're, uh... I think they're the knowledge... Yes. Uh, Celeste is mm, stranger. If I had to take an educated guess, he probably had this made to, um, I guess, control both of them. 
or their children. I'll trade you that staff for the tree. Deal. Cool. <laughs> All right. She hands you the sapling. I cannot hand them the staff, so I will just delete it from my inventory. <laughs> Unless you want to open up trade with an NPC. Uh, no, I took it from your inventory. Oh, it's still you can delete on it. my... No, it just copies when I drag and drop it. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I also found a lot of these, um, realm shards. She'll hold out the three wake shards. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with them. They're connected to the wake. And from what uh, I understand, that's not very good. She will shrug. Uh, the only thing I know about these shards are... <laughs> um, I think... I think they told me they used one of those shards when fighting a dragon and it transported them to that... Uh, they were they were in the frost fell lost. I'm not sure why someone would, would want to go to the wake. Um perhaps you could ask <laughs> mm -hmm. Perhaps you can ask um one of the adventurers that came here about those shots. Oh, I'm gonna go off to you on uh, my Wait. Kito might know. I heard he has something about that. Uh, and the show explained all of the NPCs that arrived on the boat, that includes Beliath, know what you can do with realm shards. Because they came from an area where they were studying those types of shards, and they could tell you. Uh, hmm. Belioth can tell you basic things that her family experimented with with these shards, but that's about it. Uh, hers are, like, basic stuff. So. The only people that came here on that boat that are still here are... Is, uh... uh Alice Eloise? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, the other ones will be back. Hmm. Technically, Kito should be arriving back here. Uh, Zoraya should be coming here with Vienna and Trip. Your friends from the shrine should be back as well. And... My wand. I hear angry youth. puppy. It's not angry puppy. They're not angry. They're just misunderstood. I'm kidding. here oh okay oh is that because someone's home oh family oh my mom is home and stuff all right so that's why they're going crazy that makes sense shush it's okay huh. no ah Emmanuel. I hope you guys remember that, man. And... 
Yeah, that would be her. Yep, that's all of them. These people would be here. Uh, what you guys can do with that. Ito can finally go do what he wanted to do. Uh, is Kido a former player character or is he just an NPC? He's just an NPC that you can learn about. He's a human. Quotation marks. Uh, In air he, he has Desert. actually mentioned that he's a former paladin. Several times. Oh boy. I cannot wait for our month of downtime to end so that we can deal with the BBEG of this campaign. Oh, yeah. Bureaucrats. Yes, <laughs> your BBEGs of your campaign are basically bureaucrats. <laughs> Except for, uh, You're that up. is not 100% correct. You do have a BBEG. That is, mm, well, <laughs> that will be apparent. Yeah, I'm so sorry, what did you say? BB what? Big bad evil guy. You guys actually met oh. him. You guys met them. I mean, I'm just kind of sitting here eating and listening to you guys. You, uh, I heard BB. You've interacted though. with this person before. Or of course, that's what you heard. It, I'm eating. Okay, Nikki, we've interacted with a lot of people. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, they were... One of the... Actually, yes, this would have been one of the uh, earliest NPCs you would have met when you guys first went to the City of Metal. The only person I... We didn't really interact with anyone in the City of Metal. But unless you're, st unless you're talking about <laughs> Legarel, but he fucked off. Oh, he didn't go that far. He just went to his nearest outpost. Which got robbed. And he's uh, laughing about it. He was laughing about it. He's more annoyed now. Uh, I'm going to break those people's spines. Well, he knows where they'll be. And that's what, and you can guess what that will be. <laughs> but, so, you guys, um, downtime is, we can uh, do the downtime real quick. It won't really take much, because mostly it's just planning and stuff like that. So, how would you guys like to be smuggled into the city of glass, my friends? Before before we have that, I'm down, down but I still want to have my uh, um, my sword made. All those things. Will well, be we're done. taking care of that. I, I'm. I mean, to be honest, my character is going to be more focused on getting their affairs in such an order that they're not a strategist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to give you guys a list of uh, ways you guys can get into the city via smuggling. You can be smuggled through the sewers and arrive in uh, one of the. Well, but sewers stinky. The water plant, I guess, technically. It would be, it would be where the water treatment XD. Okay. It'll be uh, there. I it's did basically ask, a mage area that like purifies the water. I the I, I did ask the question: <laughs> Are there any like rather large trees anywhere in the city? Is there like yeah. a tree in a town square or something that we could uh, use? Because I have tree strider. There is a tree. Well, there's like a lot of the cities in the metallurgist ice fields just have trees within the city, just in like little parks as like regular foliage throughout cities and stuff. They, they love having nature mixed in with everything. 
Uh, I feel like reason, a massive crew would be kind of obvious, though. The, the, re the reason I ask is we could wait until nightfall, and I can just do that outside the city. Yeah. And get us in that way. That is a that is a way you can get in. So that is another option. You guys could go in through that, go through the sewers, get smuggled in as cargo for a tavern, and you guys will have a tavern start instead. Uh, you guys can get smuggled in through the prison, which is you guys will just basically doing it. You guys will do a a mini prison break with all your gear. <laughs> That actually seems kind of like fun. <laughs> yeah. Before before we do that, I I, take my character would agree to that. <laughs> I I would spend the month. Well, no, we're we're planning right now, so I won't. Yeah. Complicate things. Um. um I don't care. Yeah, I mean, sister, the easiest way the easiest ways to do that would probably be either tavern. getting brought in to, through the tavern, going through the sewers, or using Tree Stride under Nightfall. I think the tavern idea is a really fun idea, because then, like, we could also get a drink and meet NPCs. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, See, the places you guys are, other pleasure. than the prison, the places you can be smuggled into are non-hostile. The, the only, the prison one is a uh, one Frederick mentions that it will get you the closest to the main, um, uh, the main government building, which will lead you It'll right. be closest to our objective. But yeah, but then we're also soon, skipping but out. He will say it will be the hardest to get out. It may, it, it's like a suicide yeah, I mean, we're also kind of skipping, like, meeting other NPCs and stuff, too. Yeah. Which and is he's why like, well, this I is mean, the quick way to the... get rid of them. You can just go straight to the leader. Not I, I guess them. the... I, I guess the, um... Important question is, is the prison full of criminals, or is it filled with dissidents against the cult? Both. Both. Okay, that that brings an issue because I was gonna say if it's just filled with it's, dissidents, it's filled we could with criminals let them from. Out. Uh, it's filled with criminals from before the shard mines took over and after the shard mines took over, and not all those people that were criminalized by the shard mines are criminals. That's what I was saying, but yeah. that also there was that also that no work because of uh the city the different cities were all separate and everything so there was a lot of differences uh city right. of metal had the prison outside of the city and that's how their system worked but the city of glass has the prison inside the city and the city of ire <laughs> um, massive pennant well, a massive prison. Say, it's also the capital of the continent. So yeah, it's basically a fortress. Mm. But I, uh, Drugan, you haven't given much input. <laughs> what, what What are your thoughts? I mean, if we want to get in, how we get in is sort of irrelevant. Because we have the resources necessary to make anything really work. Mm -hmm. It's more the question of where we want to be getting in. I think that is far more important. Yeah. So right. if you do the tavern, you'll be roughly in the center of the city. If you do the sewers, you have access to multiple different areas in the city. But you'll have to be careful where you get or come out. Because there are guards and other things like that. So... That one, you could be popping up in the middle of the street out of the blue and be like, oh, fuck. But you also can make your way to the cisterns and get out there, and that will be the second closest to the main building, and then the prison would be the closest. And if you do the tree thing, you could pop up in um, multiple different places, but uh, that would be close to the tavern as well for a good start. You wouldn't be able to go um, super far, it's 500 meters, so... I, I suggest a combination approach. 
I suggest we go through the needed preparations to get us in through the sewers, and we use that as a scouting method to figure out where the trees are in the city. Mm -hmm. And where we can actually pop out. Because if we just go to the city through the transport via plants method, we have no idea where we're going to pop out. Yeah. I mean, we could just have, again... We don't. We don't have to do that ourselves. Frederick could do that for us if we ask him to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is to figure out uh, how much are we valuing blending in? Uh, Barely, I would say. Sort of. Not really. I mean, my character wears bright, flashy armor and has a shield with the holy symbol of her god. She's going to stand out there regardless. Quite. <laughs> I also have now a giant necklace with, you know, representations of all the pillars, people they detest as gods. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter what I try to do. I kind of stand out because I can't get rid of those two oh, yeah. things. Um, yeah, you stand out. I'm a tiefling. So with... <laughs> going into the city, think of... Have you ever played Assassin's Creed? Like yes. uh, the early ones. Sorry, I have to explain that one. The early ones, you know, there's like specific restricted areas where the guards are more on high alert. Yeah, and the hostile areas. Spot yeah. You and stuff. That is what it's going to be like in the city of glass because they're on high alert because the city of metal has been taken over and they don't want to be uh, the next ones. So oh, well, that's unfortunate. So there will be areas with way more guards, and you'll have to be very stealthy, or uh, other things you can do, like breaking, making sure they can't alert each other, other things. There'll be a lot of options I mean, while you're in the city because of the contacts I, you will have within it. I have an idea. <laughs> we could, because we still have... Um... Let me check my inventory. We still have roughly what is a hundred plat to gold? Is that a thousand? It's ten times. It's a thousand, yeah. So I still have fifteen hundred gold. If you'd like to hear out my idea, if we want to cause a distraction, we could hire mercenaries and find out where trees are located close to the guard barracks warp them in first have them cause a big distraction at the guard barracks and then we sneak into the government buildings while the guard is distracted well i mean why would we just go straight to the go- uh the government building we i'm i'm saying we can do that using tree stride if we find out where the proper trees are the other thing is i could just warp in a big distraction group of a couple of mercenaries causing a ruckus. That way it makes our stealth easier. How does tree stride work? I'm so confused by its wording. It, so basically, do you just touch a tree and it just opens you, up for one minute and people can just yes. run through? Okay. Uh, that's transport via plants. Tree stride... Um, transport via plants allows you to teleport to a plant anywhere in the world um, through plants. Tree stride allows you to... 500 feet. Tree stride allows you to transport uh, within 500 feet, and it basically means that if you're next to a tree, every other space that's also next to a tree within 500 feet, you are adjacent to it. Oh. Interesting. That is so strange. The train stride is a strange spell. Still, but I would still accept it as a way of, like, throwing people into the... thing. That's fine. Man. Before, before we, like, dedicate ourselves to a plan, uh, Belle would do some digging. Um, she would try and find out one kind of about the uh, nobility of of the city of glass, kind of figure out 
like who's who there and also do some digging on Zarkarian and see if he would be in the city of glass. Or uh the the guy I'm supposed to be hunting. Uh what's his name? Uh Zarian. Uh, the uh the blue aquatic. Zarian he's said multiple times he's not here. He's oh yeah. Not a person you of interest in this area. Just a... yeah, no. Z Zarian is in the dream. Uh, Zarkarian, oh, all right. Zarkarian has told you that the person just pisses him off. Uh, okay, never mind. And has told that, you that... that there are people dealing with him right now. Yeah. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you restored the part of him that was stolen, so. Yeah. Uh. All he asks is find more part, uh, find more pieces that may have been taken from him, or find pieces of his former, uh, a former leviathan, and feed it to her, him, it, it, nondescript gendered being from outer space. Yes. All right. I need to get his freaking artwork done. It's cool as fuck. Uh, he says Martharius. Uh, Martharius is one he wants. Martharius. Yeah. Let me write that down. Uh, he says this great old one was once one who tried, who was the bet, uh, s strong as me once, and said. Uh, some mortals forged a blade and chopped his body into many pieces and then sealed those pieces with flesh and iron and put those across the world. Buried. Never to be found. Hopefully. We found, like... With flesh and iron? With flesh and iron. Uh, the, uh, your character, so, I actually can explain this to you, because your character studies this shit and understands Great Old Ones and all those things, and because of your background, because of the Von Shadra family name. So, the reason why they're sealed by flesh and iron, or bound yeah. in iron chains wrapped in flesh, is because that actually... Uh, stops a great old one from regenerating or even absorbing their parts or communicating with parts that are sliced off it's their strange uh, strange powerful beings that are even when disconnected from certain parts can still use them sort of so it's basically uh keeping him separate from himself to keep him from regenerating Keep him from, like, it's basically killing. It's basically, they've killed him, sealed him away. He's dead. This is the best way they could, a mortal could kill a being like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. All right, gotcha. Because, uh, a, a leviathan like that. Their body is their soul. So, like, there's no separation of body and soul. Their body and soul are one. Okay, I gotcha. I can hear you typing. <laughs> What me? <laughs> yeah, that's no, all good. I I, I, I like. Oh my! I'm like, noise suppression's on. I, I thought. Love, I love hearing the clickety clacks because that makes oh, me no, I'm, know I'm... that people are typing. <laughs> yeah, no, I wrote my I wrote my notes, but I also am playing Wobble Dogs in the background. Sixty. <laughs> um. But oh, there's also like, uh, I guess we're reaching like. Yeah, we can. Yeah, it's seven eighteen. We can call it soon. We can start slowing it down, but might as well. Uh, I'm going to borrow Aronia for a second because I have to mess with someone. Oops. No, sh ah! 
You can see, sh well, I'm showing chat. This is Shumi's new art. Look at them. Look how pretty they look. Oh, look at how thick they are. They're oh, so no. adorable. Draw they lewd no fan art. They have a fucking dragonborn snout. Mm -hmm. They have small snoot. A small snoot. Snoot. I... Please draw lots of lewd fan art of this character. No, 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 no. Don't do it. <laughs> Where is Finn? Oh, there's Finner. Uh, I also got, uh, I also got the Viara symbol finished. I'm still waiting for Waymaker to get back with Odulas. Yeah. What? Oh, symbol, right. Ooh. But, uh, you want to talk to Runia? Oh, no, I need to borrow Aronia for a moment, because there, there's someone I haven't talked to yet, and I want to mess with him a little bit. Oh. Oh, boy. So I'm just going to ask her to uh, stand about right here in the road. You know, next to all the shops and such. And then, Shwoomi is uh, gonna sneak around through the trees over here and wait. That's the only thing that it might. Help. And wait. I I need Rudia about right there. And you need Rooney about where? Ah, all right. I'm going to cast Sending, and I'm going to send to Scales and tell him to turn around. <laughs> So I look behind him. I'm so sorry I had to leave for a little bit. Yeah, you good? Yeah, you're good. We're wrapping up. Mm. Alright, we're good. Oh, you're fine, Flint. You probably had to, like, go eat or something. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. So they're just uh, planning things. So I can actually give you a quick rundown. Uh, there is multiple ways you can get smuggled. Uh, they're thinking of using tree stride as well, a mix of tree stride and some other things. Uh, you can get in through the sewers and the cistern uh, and start uh, messing with it there. Go through the prisons and do a giant prison break to uh, go straight to the fucking leader. But so far, you guys have opt to not do that one, <laughs> or pop um, up through the uh, uh, get smuggled into uh, a local tavern. If we want to do prison break, mm -hmm. um, there is something interesting we could do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a month to prepare. And I have a scroll, which could be any monastic art. Yep. I could pick up World Breaker. Oh, no. <laughs> Break everything. <laughs> and then punch my way out of prison. <laughs> punch oh. everyone out of prison. <laughs> I could. Fucking World Breaker. Nikki, you That's an option. Thing. But, okay, no, the thing is, if we prison break, that immediately puts us on the bad side of everyone in the city. So maybe let's not do that. I don't I care. Mean, it, I just it, want my sword. It does put us on the bad side of the, the guards, but we are also already right near their leader. If we have an escape plan... I... I I, I still say we say use, we, we don't do that. I, I say we use the tree stride method as an escape option, not 
as a entry option. Flame it's, can literally it's, open just, for a, it's open for a minute, right? It's basically Victor, like teleportation. Victor, Victor look, me yeah, and you are the army of two. We don't need an escape method. We'll make our own escape method. So basically, Flame can also, uh, can can also just get in a box to get in. You guys Tree stride run through it, and they can just drop concentration. Yeah, if you get, if we can get a tree, um, is the prison like near the center of the city, or is this like a city that's buttressed up against something so that there's it's more towards the edge? Um, think of it, kind of. It's actually, it's not butted up against anything. It goes up in a tier, kind of like a hill. So like, okay. the big uh, the prison slash like big district is up on the highest point and it goes down. But it's like for it is technically in the rear end of the city. So or if the there's a end, I guess would be if if there is a tree in the secure area of the city and a tree in the non secure area of the city, all we need to do is get in, take out the leadership get ourselves to a tree, and then tree stride into the non-secure area before disguising ourselves and just blending in. Okay, what, now now planning for the worst, what do we do if we can't get to a tree? That's the point. We would have to figure out where the trees are in the city through yeah, our... I'm, 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 just saying, I'm just saying, like, what do we do in case of emergency if we're not able to do that? Kill shit. Uh, um, I'm fairly certain that... Uh, Depending I'm, on playing, how, I'm just playing for the worst here. Depending on how high level a druid she I'm is. Level, she, I'm level 2 druid, level 10 cleric. Oh, you're a nature cleric. Do you have plant growth? Uh, I do. She might be able to make a tree. It, that could be an option. I it Spell takes like 8 hours. Uh, let, me, let me pop up and see what options I would I mean, possibly uh, well, have. I'm no, not sure. I guess we have established I can make a tree grow, but when I casted it at my highest level spell slot, the tree appeared as a sapling. Okay. Oh. If there is an existing tree, I can make it mature. You know well, what we need? I don't think you can upcast plant growth. You can't. Um, it's just based so on it would... how long you spend. Yeah. Uh, though I will say, if we can get a hold of those 3.5 edition <laughs> feather tokens where you toss a coin onto the ground and it makes a tree. Those things are dangerous. I've had one. Those are. Mm -hmm. We only need one mm, yeah. to make this plan perfect. Because we know there's trees out in the non uh, secure zones, because we already mentioned like the town square type thing, and that was confirmed. So. We don't need to know where we're going. We just need to be not here. Yeah. Yeah. Go somewhere unsecured, and then... I mean, we have at least fucking... Uh, two characters with disguised self and a disguised hat. Yeah. Already. And there's only five members. We need, like, two scrolls of disguised self. Or, I guess, one instance of the seeming spell, or... Or even just mundane disguises. We're not in a secure area. We don't need to sell ourselves that well. No. That's fair. Well, I mean, the main issue again with my character is they do have, like, my shield, which is my holy symbol, and my amulet. Yeah, some of you will be uh -huh. screaming targets. Yeah, yeah I mean, not Victor's all the time. Victor doesn't look that unusual. He's a dwarf, which, as far as I've been told, are a fairly common race here. Mm -hmm. Not uncommon. Flint's a rat, and it's just easy to hide. And Flint also has disguised self. Yeah. And then also, Phil also has disguised self. Um, I think you should be the one with the hat, Swoomy, because you are very obvious. <laughs> My I mean, well, the, the, the disguised self doesn't apply to items you have on you, though. Disguised self applies to items. Yeah, it, it does. It applies to your clothing and yeah, you... So Full on disguise. You can you can full on disguise all of your items. Yep. That's it's actually one of the major uses of the ability <laughs> is uh, that's why it's better than alter self, which physically changes your body but doesn't change your gear. Yeah. So yeah, I would suggest Shumi be the one with the hat, and the rest of us use a combination of disguise self if we've got it or mundane disguises 
and we figure out if there is a tree we can get to in the in the center area, and if we can get a hold of something that would allow us to make a tree to use that to make a quick getaway into the uh, the um, into the outer segments of the city. Once we're in the outer segments, I think we can handle you know one or two guards. I mean, we have suggestion charm person. Even if we don't want, I even if we don't want to arouse suspicion, we have methods to deal with one or two mooks who might tell people or reveal our position. I mean, I have guys. Guys? Yeah. yeah. Or, oh, you mean Gaius? G- G- or Gios? Whichever. Gios, whatever the yeah. fuck it's called. Yes. Gios would be how it's most commonly pronounced because the show code Gios. Gaius would be closer to the original Irish. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying something else, though. Gaius. No. <laughs> What's really funny <laughs> about Disguise Self is, like, specific uh, like all the beast, uh, beast are like animal-like races, like the aquatals, the Torakin, stuff like that. Some of them do have the digigrade legs, so they could actually look like each other. Technically, Flint could look like a short Shwumi. Um Also, uh, Gios, um, it has a cast time of a minute, so not particularly good for this purpose. I mean, if we can, you know, keep someone. What I'm saying is, if we go the jailbreak route, given, like, a distraction and enough time, I could just charm a guard to us and just have him let us out of the cells. I suppose. Um, Though, again, that would be part of this plan. That would be, I mean... Oh, Oh, by the way, the prison break, you guys aren't going to be prisoners, per se. You guys are just going to be popping up inside the prison and starting a prison break. You said we have to get our gear back. I assume we would be going in as prisoners. You'll have your gear. Uh, Well, that's way better then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. But I'm guessing that's going to be the one most... I have a feeling that's going to be the congratulations time to dungeon crawl route. Mm -mm. Well, more like... (laughs) Fast time or fast paced <laughs> sieging. That's the thing. We need to get to the leadership. So, whether or not we. If we go from the outside, we're going to have to go through just as much ground and more. Mm-hmm. It's just we cut through into the middle, so we might have to deal with, you know, people coming in from behind and around us. But we're right next to them. And if we can take out the leadership, generally speaking, we're all right. We've won. We just need to leave. Well, the, uh, also the issue is, you know, mind control. If we take them out, then the people are no longer under the effect that they've been put under. Possibly. They're not shard minds, though. So we don't know for sure if they're even using true mind control like the other city. What if we just... So... What if we just blow up the leadership? So we're just trying to blow up the leadership. I'm sorry, are one? you recommending that we it, fantasy bomb the White House? Yes, <laughs> like, that like, is exactly what I think. <laughs> for, 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 for legal reasons, we are joking. We are not actually. I put the asterisk cast... fantasy in front of it. Tenacity, just you can sure. cast fireball, right? Yes. Um, do, you have, do you have quicken spell? I do. Four fireballs, one round. God damn it, I hate both of you. Actually, if I take Worldbreaker, the best case scenario would just be... um, If I take Worldbreaker, the best case scenario would be just be punching through the wall, and it would give me Siege. But I have... um, What do you call it? Uh, Fuck. I have a, a Reign of Steel. So, I could... Get around that by taking Reign of Steel rank 3 and getting a hold of an adamantine longsword. And then shoot a storm of adamantine swords at a wall and basically have it turned into Swiss cheese. If you want I just want my new sword. You could buy Eric axe from him. Uh, it needs to be a weapon I'm... Or have I, it reforged. It has to be a, a, a monk weapon. Um, I'm sure I could get an adamantine weapon. Those things are pretty cheap. It's like 500 gold or something. Oh yeah, how much is it going to cost me to get this uh, katana imbued with it? Um... Well, 
If you ask Victor, you just have to provide the material component. Victor already has it. Yeah, I have it. It's a sword and the material. I, like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you something. Uh, I'm going to give you a secret here. Uh, Victor's not going to ask for money. He's going to use it as a uh, blackmail to get you off drugs. <laughs> But I don't take now, the drugs myself. Hate, I make them. Does Victor hate all drugs or synthetic drugs? All drugs. He's a monk. Damn it. So you. Yeah, but but have but Victor, I don't. Victor, Phil doesn't use the drugs himself. All right. You have definitely gotten high before. Well, once or twice, yeah, my character so has. This is me. A, on the other hand, it's been more than once or twice. Interesting <laughs> concept. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Mayhaps could I purchase an adamantine longsword? Twelve. Yes. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What damage does this weapon do? Lightning. You lucky <laughs> son of a bitch. I had to get my axe infused multiple times to get lightning. <laughs> cool. All right, cool. I'm going to I'm going to give my uh, my sword a new name. I need to yeah, think I, I need to think of a really good name for uh, for a lightning katana. Eh. Swift blade. No, that's too basic. I don't know. Um... So now it is a mithril, ethereum infused katana. What a strange, what a strange series of words. <laughs> I let's see. Oh yeah, we were also going to have the. Um... Staff of the Sporelands converted to the um, heft of my spear. Um, that way I'm not carrying both of them and I can get rid of the, I assume, quarter staff that would create. Yep. Oh, I just thought about So them. I'm just going to rename the item Spear of the Sporelands. Okay. Um, could I... I don't know if this is possible, but can I get the funny gem I got put into the cube and still use it as a casting focus? Oh, I should steal a name from Bleach. <laughs> wait, 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 Flint, what? He wants to put I... the new magic focus he has inside of the cube so he can use both at once. Oh, uh, what? <clears throat> you can't even attune to the one you just got. <laughs> wait, I can't? I thought I... Oh. If I had unattuned from something, I can. Yes. Uh, Get rid of the cube, please. No. About you. It is my. It is the god of. It is Flint's god. He would never get rid of his cube. Flint, you're scared. All right, Victor, me. one or two. Which which name should I go with? The cube. One religion. When one religion goes, another one must take its place. <laughs> That's not how religion works. Here, I'll put it. Put it nice on me. All right, bet. Oh yeah, I, I was trying to do something before we got lost in all these this conversation. Oh, sure. sorry. Uh, um. Anyway. So you want to combine so, your crystal focuses? That's fine. You can do yeah, that. Yeah. That, I have a feeling that's gonna backfire somehow. Uh, you can unattune from your hat, you can unattune from your spouse storing, you can unattune from the resistance to void. Resistance to void. There, now you're attuned to Astral Shard. You no longer yeah, have yeah, resistance yeah. to void. That's uh, fine, you have, re you have resistance to necrotic. I mean, <laughs> it. Would Flint want to sell slash trade for that ring? Money? I, I, money? I said money or trade. I'm not money or your life. Mm-hmm. 
bomb. <laughs> I have magic restraining manacles. We didn't get to use those on the wizard. Oh, yeah. Do we have anyone that can make a weapon plus one or plus two? The blacksmith. All right, bad. I think. It is already a plus one, plus two is expensive. I think. That's fine. How plus expensive would it be to upgrade my spear to plus one? Now that it's also my staff. Oh. Wait, if I wanted to make this sword like a... Uh... uh like uh like plus what well, wait what's what's the what's the max plus three is the max and plus that is like, obscenely expensive yeah how expensive too expensive that, i need a price all right it, so if you want to pounds. get into plus two it requires fourth level or higher and in my setting when you're imbuing weapons and stuff so like First level bonus, that's, uh, it's a second level, so it's 150 for a plus one, I think. 150 gold? Yeah. 100. Okay, so is that price 50, just stacked then? And then third level... Is it 200? Yeah, 250 it went to, two, it went to 200 at... And then 500 at 4. So it would be 500 gold to get it to plus 2. And then like over 1,000. Alright, I have plus I have 727 two gold. Three. Could I get... I have 727 gold. And That's be not enough. How much for plus 3? Over 1,000. But I, I... I have 1,500 gold. Apparently... It, I have 50 platinum, uh, which I don't remember getting thing. 50 platinum. Erekai cannot fucking oh, do yeah, that. Yeah. He doesn't have the spell magic weapon, nor does he have the spell slots to go up that high. Oh, fuck. It's fair. Uh, we so have how high can he make it? Can. Uh, he can... Erekai's a paladin, um, which I think does give him access to ma a magic weapon, but he doesn't have spell slots that high. No. So he can make a plus one weapon, I think. Yes. He could make a plus one. All right, well, that is one thing he can do. I'll go ahead and pay him to get it to plus one then. You're, it's already plus one. You're, you're as oh. on, uh, Izanami is, is it, and the zombie is already plus one. Better than that. I'm gonna turn this thing into a legendary weapon. God damn it! Uh, wait. What about your other sword, the one you stole from the wizard? Oh, Void River. Yeah. Not about that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that one is. It doesn't even have a bio for it. All oh, right, we haven't gotten that identified, and I still haven't gotten my fucking. I did staff identify identified. it. Oh. I I have I have the spell for it. I've used the spell on it. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. Any. I, a... I would like to. I, I would like to do the thing I was going to Viewability. do before Flint came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. It. We, we keep getting off that. So I, I used sending, and I told Scales. To turn around and look behind him. Alright. He turns around. And he sees Rudia. Which is confusing. Mm, that's and while not he's thick distracted. Enough. And while he's distracted, I'm trying to sneak up behind him. Oh. Uh, uh, perception? He doesn't mm. notice. Is that? No, he definitely does not. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Oh yeah, it's Mithril, right? It's like... Mm. Yeah, Mithril does not impose disadvantage. Thank goodness. Such a problem sometimes. <laughs> Zardor. What will she's Zardor going to, do? She's going to lightly tap him on the shoulder. Oh. Uh. Okay. He does not shit himself. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting him to, like, turn around and jump back, but... Uh, uh, he, 
uh, you tap his shoulder, he spins around so quickly that, uh, make me a deck save. This would be way funnier if it actually happens. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> He spins around, and you barely notice his tail swoop you from underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's like, what the f- what, what was that? It doesn't re- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, I am so sorry. The person that swooped me had sex with inside of a water bubble. That's not at all how that fucking works. Sure it does. You know what? This is karma for trying to mess with you. Shumi learns a lesson? <laughs> this is... This is karma. Uh... Uh... He, he will help you back up. And be like, I am so sorry. <laughs> Plus eight. But you did give me quite the jump. If I was a gripply, I'd be up in the air. It would have been funnier <laughs> if he shit himself. No. Well, we're back. For a while, apparently. Had a lot of, um, I guess, interesting experiences in that tower. You don't say. We've had some, uh, minor occurrences. Mm. Um, been seeing a winged creature flying around. What kind? Uh, could have been a phoenix born, could have been a Azarian, could have been a harpy. I don't know. Too oh, far yeah. away. Erica. Not Erica, uh, Enoch. That's concerning. Uh, Although, if it was a phoenix born, that might have been the cleric that we found in the tower. Oh, very well. If not, then uh, that that. It wasn't that. It was like a mm, few days. Hmm. Uh, that probably checks out. I probably would have taken them around that. I uh, probably would have arrived here around I mean, that time. They they asked us to drop them off at the City of Metal so that they could figure out what the fuck was going on. Mm -hmm. And then they were going to go try and travel. But my other concern is that's the other guy that, you know, I funny haha -ha bamboozled into a trap. Mm hmm. My eyes are not uh, always the greatest. Have also, you considered getting glasses? How would they fit on my rich? I mean, you could get them custom made frames. Huh. What about the monocle? <laughs> yes. I mean, if yes. you're. If if you have bad eyesight, I could also try something else. I'm not... I'm not blind. I mean, they were... Hundreds of feet in the air. Very hard to see at that distance. Fair enough. No. While you were... Uh, while you were gone, the lake is fully opened up, and there's some interesting uh, things to explore. 
strange things to eat. Hunt. Very fun. I see a I think I saw a metallic salmon. <laughs> ah. I don't know what it's doing in that lake. Or how it got here. The nearest river is very far away. Hmm. Oh, there is... There are a few strange creatures around the water, but uh, they should be okay. But the water is nice, and it's uh, late in the year. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, Tired to do a self medical check. A self medical yeah. check? A self me Jesus Christ, I have a plus 12 to medicine. Sometimes you gotta look inside yourself and think. Who me is she, doctor? I am literally the doctor of this group. I have a healing kit. Yeah. I can't prefer form surgery. Simgery. Uh, though what what scale will say? Yeah, your brother is um strange. Your sister it scares me. It she's going to lean in. It, he he was a bit of a um late hatcher. Big. They thought he wasn't going to hatch at all. Oh. Poor thing. Uh, what about he that? Also... I can never get a word out of that, uh, chef. I don't... I don't know what... Uh, who he is or what he's doing here. He just showed up. Uh, around the same time as that little tiefling, actually. Uh, Charles brought them. Oh, mm. that tiefling. Uh, actually, Charles left recently, before you guys arrived, actually. Uh, oh, mm. a little bit. Uh, he decided he wanted to go home. So he's back in uh, the Scalic Dominion. I wonder what he's doing there. Meanwhile... <laughs> uh yeah to be honest i could care less what the what the son of a noble was doing there what we need to focus on is making sure that they don't come back this continent doesn't need another scuffle with any of the Outer kingdoms again, especially after what happened last time. No, but it seems he has a bit of influence with the city of metal right now. Whatever. Hi. I think outsiders should stay away from the politics of this land. Hmm. Well, that's just me. He's provided some help. He has helped provide some for this camp. So I can't really eh, fault him. Uh, there is something that was. Belly up. I have one more thing. Yeah. I completely zoned out. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Next session I'll get through all these guys stuff. But they mm -hmm. will actually come up to you. See this. Um You're out you remind me of a student I once had. I used student. to 
around the I, I founded a school so many years ago. Ah, uh, no. Are... Did you ever look into any of the bard schools? The bard, the bard schools? No, no, not particularly. Oh. Um, you know your family dabbles in all the different kinds of magics and the different schools. I'm the founder of the Fate Weavers. Or the, the College of Fate Weavers. He smiles. Hmm. Interesting. Or Fate Seekers, sorry. Okay. Uh, um, I've only met... I haven't met many of my students since... Uh, he points himself out. This ever happens, whatever that uh, Fate God did to me. Still getting my memories back, but I actually... Seeing your hmm, art to see, but your emblem, your family crest, rocked a bit of memory. I just, uh, perhaps we can sit and chat, and perhaps I will learn more based on your family and all them. I did do business with them after all. You did business. You did business with the Von Chadras. Oh. Who else could I teach my school? I was, uh, mm. you know, the, the Skellig Dominion's not the only place I opened up my college. But I have to make a deal with the ones who run their schools. I just don't know remember what. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass. You promised me an arranged marriage with your first daughter, and you have yet to deliver. No, my business. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm I'm trying to keep up, my, but my brain is actively shutting oh, yeah. down. So no, I think we'll I think we'll end it here, and then we'll pick up okay, the okay. session with you guys. Uh, so. Oh yeah, before uh, we go, week, can I go ahead and um, uh, do a carrier guys... pigeon or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can easily do carrier or, pigeon uh, or uh, ask when, anyone carrier, that's traveling Greebly. on the boat anything. Even Greebly. Greebly will do it. He'll forget, but he'll do it. Well, yeah, no, it's so that we can get like the black market people here and some other people like uh, that one chick that I hit on asked. Also, Which one? So, though I will say it is very hard to get distracted by the ocean. Maybe. No, the ocean is incredibly shiny. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, well, I'll send it's I'll send two pigeons. I'll send Greebly and then another random pigeon. All right. <laughs> I would say the random pigeon is probably gonna get there way better than Greebly. <laughs> but carrier Greebly is funny. <laughs> but it is funny. All right, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna go lay down. In order to use a carrier pigeon, we'd have to find a pigeon. I I, I do. Okay, have, well then we'll use fucking Greebly. I do oh, have God. one last thing I need you guys Greeply. to do during the week, Ooh. is because I need to prepare. Uh, I'll be preparing the whole map, uh, the the city. I'll be making the city and everything, but I'll also be preparing the prison, the tavern, and like city map or city street maps and stuff. I'll I'll be. I should be able to do it this in a week, yeah. Yeah, well, even if you can, it's fine. No rush, I don't... Uh, I'll have I'm gonna be the playing main... Golden of Exiles I'll have week. the main buildings done that you guys will be able to arrive in. And I have sewers ready to go already, so that will be more fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just... Uh, let me know what you're picking so I can focus more on uh, how you guys are going to be getting through this city so just type uh what you guys uh dis discussed i don't care anyway is fine with me i like jurgen's idea better though so whatever jurgen decides on i'll decide on that okay <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, it sounds like we were pretty set on the, um, getting shit scouted out to use Tree Stride as a, uh, escape, rather than a yeah. infill. Yeah, do Prison Break and then use the, uh, the Tree Stride as an I, exfiltration. Yeah, I have so my new sword that, uh, I'm dubbing my own legendary. It's my legendary. All right, it's Phil's now legendary you, sword. Now, now you just need to get dual wielding so you can wield both katanas at once. No, that's lame, though. He has the flowing rapier anyway. It wouldn't give him anything. Yeah. Actually, I, I, un, um, I unattuned to the floating rapier to attune to the void one. All right. And given... I just don't know what the void one does yet. Given uh, we apparently are going to have our gear instead of taking world breaker, because that's just unnecessary... I think no, I'm just gonna no, pump. Take, take world gear G breaker. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Or I guess I could take master of steel and then make the bars into a chair. <laughs> make that the bars. Do it because you still need to make okay. fill a flute. <laughs> we can we can cover that in the one month of downtime because my character is going to be doing a lot of personal shit like. Uh, okay, bye bye now. Oh, yeah. Plotting out a house oh. and. Oh. Going back to the temple. Also, right. probably going to take a trip to the library with Belia to return the stuff we were playing. All right. Thank you all for joining me for today's <laughs> session of Champ or Curse of the Ice Fields. And uh, I also thank you, Carnos, for the resubscription. Six months. Ah, half a year. Holy shit. Thank you all for the followers as well. And we'll see you next time. No fan art today. Perhaps next time. Ah! Take care. Bye! -bye.